Well, there's a couple of surprises about one of the newest satellites to orbit the Earth. First, it's only about the size of a loaf of bread. And second, it's being run by students here at Santa Clara University. No, right now it's around the clock operations. Room 324, Bannon Engineering Hall, is mission control, where students uplink commands and download data from this NASA science satellite in orbit around the Earth. Yeah, there's some tense moments there at the beginning. A rocket launched the satellite into orbit. Students at Santa Clara made contact with it just 90 minutes after liftoff. It was very surprising actually hearing it the very first pass, getting some sort of data down. Science experiments on board the satellite, Pharmasat, immediately went to work. And it was critical that the students and the big dish antennas on the roof not miss a single bit of data being sent back to Earth. We were in a situation where I had students on console and yet NASA engineers saying, you know, we want data, we want data. And, uh, and we got lucky. We got on the first time around and everybody was happy. A giant uh, collective sigh of relief. We got enough data for them in order to, to publish some findings, so uh, it's a success. Santa Clara students first served as mission controllers for a NASA science satellite three years ago. And they handed the spacecraft over to our university and now we use it for student research projects and in a class. And, uh, it's an exciting laboratory piece of equipment to have. Some students who've taken intro to satellite operations now work for NASA. Jose may be next. My, my mom still doesn't believe that I talk to satellites. Its work for NASA is done, but the tiny satellite could stay in orbit for a few years, giving students here a chance to do research and study classes in satellite operations. At Santa Clara University, Dale Shornack, News 10.